You passed the test. So you knew about BD-1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, BD-1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? Get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! No! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD-1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of Batoli weed fabric? Not really. Oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of Force-sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. A hollow what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Use the Force. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. With that list of Force Sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. Dathomir Zepho, it's your choice. Like, what, what, what is that thing saying? I don't know why people have droids. Tell that to him. He can understand you. He can? Look, I, I didn't mean anything by it. Droids just freak me out. What doesn't? You sound like an imp. They deactivate droids just because they can. That makes him one of us. Oh, oh. tough break. Now, I take it back. You're all right, buddy. All right, kids, sit down. We're here. Think of a storm brewing down there. This might not be the best time to land. Yeah, something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Copy that. Oh. Couple bumps ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. Of it's under control, it's just a little tricky. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on! Oh. Huh. Perfect landing. Crazy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's gonna take me a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. 
I'll be in touch once I crack this. Cal, over here. You did good work on Pagano. The more information we gather on Cordova and the Zepho, the closer we'll get to stopping the Empire. I've heard of ancient cultures, but don't know much about them. Hold that thought. Watch out, BD. They don't look friendly. Huh? Cal, can you hear me? The Empire. They found Zepho. If they were following the Mantis, we would have been swarmed already. They'd be looking for the tombs? Let's hope not. Just got our comms working. I'll try the same workaround to crack into theirs. I think it's sealed. Okay, I'll look. Thanks, BD-1.
something? Thank you. 
Okay, BD1?
Looks like a problem.
be one of the Zepho. Guess we're on the right track, huh, BD?
scanning again? There's a transport ship leaving the Empire's base. I heard. They plan to bring Zepho artifacts to Coruscant. Does that mean? That the Emperor is interested in Zepho? Maybe. Push it.
pretty hurt. Oh, grateful.
I found something. What do they know? No mention of Cordova. I don't think the Empire knows he's been here. Then we have the advantage. For now. Interesting. We're on the right track. storm up ahead. Something about it crippled the Empire's equipment. I can feel something pulling me there, beyond the storm. Follow it. Let the force sharpen your instincts. All right. I'll do my best.
never seen a storm do that before. Yeah, it's incredible.
better.
lightsaber can't solve everything. <laughs> stand against it. The Force is there to shield us. The obstacles in your path define the path. What stands in the way becomes the way. Now, try again. <laughs> Keep your eye on the ball. Good. Continue. to push the ball at the target. Faster now. Complete the test. What stands in the way becomes the way. My friend, take a look at the detail on this bark. The distinctive striations. It can only be a Rosha tree from Kashyyyk. It's time to call on an old friend. 
If the Zetho had contact with Kashyyyk, there is a good chance Chieftain Tarful will know about it. more than the wind to move that sphere. Okay. Right, we're gonna need more than the wind to move that sphere. Okay. Right, we're gonna need more than the wind to move that sphere.
Think there's more spears around here? Me too. Let's keep checking. There's gotta be another spear somewhere.
we see one of these spears on the way in? We did swing on it, didn't we? If there's a way to get it down. relic is extremely old, but I get the sense it was part of some type of training ritual for Zephyr Force users. There's gotta be another spear somewhere.
This guardian was destroyed long ago. Hey! What was in there? this artifact as an offering to the wind. It was destroyed intentionally for some reason.
Hey there, BD1. Holding up okay? Good to hear. You seem happy. Just wind rippling through these chimes. Voices. Pass.
used in Zeppo meditation rituals. I think they were training force users.
What did you find? The Zeppo went to Kashyyyk. Cordova mentioned someone named Tarful. Ah, uh, a Wookiee chieftain. They were old friends. Think he's still around? There's only one way to find out. We have to go to Kashyyyk. Strange feeling from this one. Ancient Zepho gathered here. I wonder why.
this. Continue excavating. I want rare artifacts, not useless trinkets. Your beauty ones. Me a stem beating one. That feels better.
fine. Speedy one. Discharge will draw their attention immediately. I'll be back as fast as I can.
Please stand beating one. Nice work out there, kid. Hey, you got some real moves on you. <laughs> Just tell me that this visit wasn't for nothing. I found the tomb of Bezepho Sage. They definitely used the force. An advanced civilization of force wielders who mysteriously vanished. No wonder Master Cordova became so obsessed with them. What else did you find? Before they disappeared, the Zeppo journeyed to the planet Kashyyyk. Oh. Cordova had a Wookiee friend named Tarful. Maybe we can find him. Kashyyyk? I, look, things are really bad down there. The, the Empire's muscling in on those Wookiees big time. Then we better get ready for a fight. Oh. I think this lifestyle suits you. Fighting that walker seems to have made you more confident. So, how are you holding up? I mean, with the Force? Yes, with the Force. I know you said it could be overwhelming. I haven't gotten myself killed yet. I'd rather not talk about it. Yeah, well, I understand. More than you realize. Well, why'd you choose to stop using the Force? When the purge started, and our clone troops turned against us, my Padawan and I took several younglings and we went into hiding. But we didn't last long. Imperial Patrol was about to discover our location, so I tried to lure them away from my Padawan, Trilla. She stayed behind with the younglings, but they caught me. And they tortured me. They wanted to know about the others and how many were left, but mostly they wanted to know about Cordova and where he went. But you escaped. Yeah. It was a prison riot. I saw my opportunity and I took it. But they almost broke me. And I am not the same as I was, Cal. Your Padawan. Did she survive? No. But that's why we can't give up. We can't let the sacrifice of those closest to us be for nothing. Okay. Yeah, great. Just enjoying some peace and quiet. So next, let's go to Tell me how you became a Jedi. I was discovered by a Seeker when I was very young. They took me to the temple to train. Oh, yeah. Seekers. They're one of a kind, I'll tell you that much. You have no idea what a Seeker is, do you? Not a clue. They seek things? Yes. 
There are Jedi sent to find and retrieve young Force sensitives. Like the ones on that holocron. I was a seeker. Oh, whoa, you know what this means. I didn't discover Cal, if that's what you're thinking. No, it means I'm a seeker, too. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, seeker crease. All right, we're here. Get in your chair. Tell me we're not running that blockade. Oh, only as a last resort. I've rigged the Mantis' transponder to transmit Imperial signals. Hey, Grease. Yeah? Keep your power signature low and act like we belong. Just like Bracca. No, it's right. I don't need another set of hands. Just please keep your eye on the scanner. All please. Right. All right. All right. I don't see anything. They're preoccupied with something on the ground. We're clear. Empire is devouring Kashyyyk for its natural resources. Mookies have been enslaved or displaced. Oh, that was a close one, kid. Aren't you supposed to be watching the monitors? Guerrilla fighters, Mookies and off-worlders and bushing Imperial convoy. Walkers approaching their position. Tarfa could be with him. Tarfa could be anywhere. Like deep in the ground, like we're gonna be if we get caught up in that battle down there. We don't have any other options. And, and they'll die without our help. So what's your plan? Sabotage. We used to scrap walkers on Bracca. I'll just jack one. <laughs> get a load of the kid. He thinks we're back in the Clone Wars. Captain, uh, get us near those walkers. Wait, what? Listen. Those walkers double as troop transport, so once you get inside, be careful. I'm for no freeze grief to work as magic. Hey, do me a favor. Stay alive down there. I'll add it to the plan. Right, if you're jumping, you better do it now, kid. You ready for a swim, BD? Woo! Woo! 